Hey, what is up guys? Vitablader95 here, and I am bringing you part 2 of 3. This time it is Reflect Wyvern. Now, for those of you who see it on eBay, it might be sp uh, spelled Reflect without the L. There's an R for whatever reason. Um, don't mind it. It's just there. Now, getting onto this beat em on this is a recolor and made for the special edition Eclipse Dragon. All the stickers are different, all the parts are different, in coloration at least. And because of that, these are brittle, so please be careful when you buy them. This piece in particular, um, the Union piece for the both barrels, it, I'm sorry, for both grips, is very brittle, and actually these two halves right here broke. So I had to glue those back in, including the barrel, which is why I cannot take it off in this review because it is broken and it is all hell trying to re-glue it. So let me take this all apart and I'll be back in one moment. And here we are with Wyvern itself. There's nothing new uh, or nothing really different about this beat -em on other than it has two fins which really remind me of Chrome Laven Cyclone. The way the helmet is made is very aerodynamic. Now the shoulder is different from Pegasus, only this one side, as you're going to be using this one for Eclipse Dragon. The barrel is the 67 caliber rear barrel, as you can see, and it's supposed to be promoting rapid fire, as this Beatabon is a rapid fire balance type. However, if you look upon the hold parts, oh, sorry. Look upon the hold parts, these are control type parts. Um, this is very powerful for a rapid fire, for yeah, a rapid fire type. It's almost like Blitz Garuda in a way, like it's nice and powerful. I'm gonna go put a grip on it and I will give you a better idea. Now, before I do that though, did I break it? I almost broke it. Okay. So, this right here is the sight which goes onto Shining Pegasus's barrel. And when these two combined, this becomes a sight so you can kind of see better as of what you're aiming at. So, let's put it together, shall we? So, here we are, all assembled yet again. Have our deck of cards behind us in the background. Now, for this piece right here, this is supposed to combine both grips, but as with Alpha Bahamut, this is kind of also a mask to allow us to add some, a fifth Bidama into the Bidamon. So, your max capacity is, well, four, five. Now, you can put a sixth on top, it does support that but I would not recommend it as it'll just fall out and it's pointless. Now this is held in by the magazine piece and you can take this off whenever you want and just add a normal magazine. So when I speak of power types, three, two, one, B crash. It is in fact a power type rather than a rush type. And these beat em on really are different, actually more opposite of what they are. So this is more of a power type and Pegasus is more of a rush type. Now, your opinion on either is kind of the same. It's, it's a pain in the butt. There's nothing really special about this one as it's easier to come across. So the value of this is only about $10 if you were to go on eBay right now while Pegasus is 50 or you can pay $60 and get the Eclipse Dragon set. It's your choice, honestly. So without further ado, please make sure and like, comment, and subscribe, and strap down because part 3, the infamous Eclipse Dragon, is up next.